There's going to be a lot of angry people out there saying, this is not a bagel. We've discussed in the past, everything from Russia that is a gun is a bagel. Bagel, bagel, bagel. All Russian guns, it's a bagel. Russian bagel. It's much bagel. All bagel. So being not a bagel means that it is a Tulski or a Zahini Zavod. Or Toz. Toz is easier to pronounce. This is a Toz Model 34E. The creme de the creme of Russian gun making. This particular TOS 34 is in the Holtz June 2021 sale. It's lot 1650 and it's estimate 800 to 1200 pounds. Let's have a look over it. Well, we can start at the back. We have what appears to be a plastic butt plate that is still lovingly engraved. The game scene in Acanthus. The stock is not made of any wood that is particularly gorgeous. Highly figured wood rarely features in Russian guns, unsurprisingly. But to embellish and enhance the wood, because to be fair, you do kind of want it to be practical, and this gun is still extremely practical. They've got inlaid wire, mother of pearl flowers, and a mother of pearl duck or goose flying through the wire. I think I might actually like wire work in a stock. It's not a very British thing to do. It's, well, if it is a British thing to do, it's a very old fashioned British thing. You see some old, old guns, you know, from 200 years ago with a bit of wire work, flintlocks and pistols. I like it, you've got a little mother of pearl woodcock on the bottom there with some wire work again. It's a nice touch. I mean, it's, it's a different way of embellishing a gun that isn't checkering, carving, or very pretty wood. It could be de described as a little pointless Everything could be described as a little pointless if we're going to get that in all about guns. You have a raised cheek piece with a very nice wire bead border instead of cutting into the wood. It's a very different gun stylistically. And that really shows with the grip carving. That is some skill, right? That is a serious skill. That is a skill beyond checkering for sure. That is, is beautiful. Wire work mother of pearl drop point. The action is black with silver inlay and silver wash on certain areas. You have light, but yet still carved game scenes of a moose or European elk and a stag on that side and an ibex on the bottom. It is no doubt actually a really well executed piece of engraving. Only area that we're going to get picky is let down a little bit is on the uh, the scroll work over the top there is just starts to get a little less perfect as you go on. But that's only the only area of this gun that actually engraving wise, it's not, it's not even let down, it's just nice. It's not a let down. That's me just being overly picky for no reason. But mostly because I can't wax lyrical about a bagel. The safety catch is manual, which by the way I found quite interesting. You have cocky indicators that ride through this little hole and in the top lever there, it's a nice touch. You have the classic star cut top lever. The whole gun is actually really, really all right. It's classically Russian in that you have this slim line running into this slim fence at the top here. Like it's, it doesn't have any wide detonation or really carved back end. It's a very stylistic thing from that beautiful country. Of course, it would not be what it is without a little CCCP mark engraved lovingly on top of a, yeah, well, there, right there. The forehead's a bit of a spanker too. Again, wire work, mother of pearl, little silver inlays, carved floral on a canvas motif. It's, it's a really interesting mix of practicality and being utterly ornate because the, I mean, I'm sure they could have engraved that with a finer, but it is all big enough and strong enough that you're not gonna damage it by actually using this gun. You have slight carving here with silver wire work inlaid into the breech end. And a slight ramp, again, hand stippled up from the face onto the rib. The rib has a mid bead, vented top, and solid mid. Fit wise, it's actually got a little bit of height in the coat, not, not enough, but enough to um, more than most things from there. And one of the coolest things about it is the way to take it apart. 
flick the safety off, pull the front trigger, push the top lever over, and she comes apart. How cool is that? Browning thought that a two-piece gun was more intelligent than a three-piece gun. I've got me that there's, there's a lot of appeal to a two-piece gun. There's a lot of appeal. The way it comes apart is definitely unique. I, um, I like it. It's cool. It's definitely cool. Putting it back together is a little bit more of a pig. You have these half moons and they're irrelevant inserts that you need to clip together. Thus. The end. I mean, it's not quite as intuitive as some other guns, but it's not bad. Nitro approved, 18.4 bores, 12 bore, 70 mil chambers. But I didn't even notice, I didn't even mention the oak leaves with the little acorns running across the top here. It's nice. Like this is a nice gun. It's a good looking gun. It's not British by any standards, but it is very well executed and actually very pleasant. So there. I like it. I do not hate all Russian guns. This one is nice. Stop thinking I'm a bigot. I love this bike.